Your personal data is everywhere, not just on your phone or laptop, but on the internet, in public databases, and even in places you've never signed up for. Every breach notification, spam email, or suspicious text you get is a symptom of a much bigger problem. Your data is being bought, sold, and exposed without your permission. And most people don't know what to do about it. So in this video, we're going to walk you through how to delete your personal data from the internet step by step. Not just deleting a few accounts, but scrubbing your digital footprint, stopping the leaks, and locking things down so they don't come back. This is a deeper dive into data privacy than we've done before. If you've already seen our videos on app tracking, microphone spying, or smart devices, this guide builds on that and goes even further. You're watching CyberShield TV, where we help you outsmart scams and lock down your digital life. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and tap the bell so you don't miss part two of this series dropping Friday. Let's start with the most important step, responding to the breach. If you get an email or notification that your data has been exposed, it's not just junk mail, it's an alert. Whether it was a store you shopped at, a health app you downloaded, or a password leak from years ago, your identity is now vulnerable. So, what should you do? First, freeze your credit with all three major bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. It's free, it doesn't affect your score, and it stops scammers from opening new accounts in your name. Second, monitor for fraud. You can either check manually or use an identity monitoring service that alerts you to suspicious activity, new accounts, or dark web leaks. Third, reset your passwords, starting with any account tied to the breach. And if you're still reusing the same password in multiple places, now is the time to stop. Use a password manager that creates strong, unique logins for every account you own. Once you've stopped the bleeding, the next step is to start cleaning. Begin by reviewing all the online accounts you actually remember. Log in and delete any that you don't need anymore. It might take time, but you'd be shocked how many services still hold your full name, address, phone number, and old billing info. Next, check your email inboxes for keywords like welcome, verify your account, your account is ready, and reset your password. These can help you track down old signups you've forgotten about. Then review your password manager or browser save passwords list. Anything you don't use, delete it. Most people stop here, but that's just the surface. The real privacy threats come from the accounts and data you forgot you gave away. In part two, we'll go deeper, showing you how to remove your personal data from sketchy data brokers and forgotten corners of the web. And here's the bonus. After part three, we'll give you a free downloadable privacy checklist, the same step-by-step -step guide I use in real life. To make all this easier, we've also included a Trusted Tools comparison guide with our top picks for identity protection, secure email, password management, and data removal. Grab it from the link below to start locking things down today. So if this was helpful, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Part two drops Friday and you won't want to miss it. I'm Ken with CyberShield TV. See you in part two.